we'll come back to you in a moment. Uh, to my left, I have not <laughs> one but two uh, Sylvains this afternoon. Um, our regular Sylvain, of course, uh, from Opera Gallery. And uh, what's been going on down your part of town in DIFC? So we are done with most of the shows for the year. We had um, art nights a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I think all the galleries are shifting to um, you know different types of shows. Very eclectic right now. Yeah. Uh, and we will resume the season in January. Okay. Now you brought, as I, as I mentioned, another Sylvain with you. Um, just maybe introduce him and, and tell us um, tell us all about what he's actually been doing. Yeah, sure. So basically I wanted to introduce you to Sylvain, the other Sylvain, because we've been working with him for quite a long time now. I think the first gallery in the network that picked him up was the uh, New York Gallery. Yeah. He's one of the artists at Opera that we call a core artist. So whether you go to Opera Gallery in Singapore, in New York, or in Dubai, you will find pieces uh, uh, from Sylvain constantly on, on display. We've been working with him for a very long time. And what I think is uh, very interesting about Sylvain is that uh, He's been around, he's worked in a lot of different countries, and he's always been deeply affected by his uh, environment. It, and, and you can actually see that in his work. Um, so, since he's here with us, you can, uh, yeah. you can pop the question. Uh, Sylvan, nice to see you. Um, maybe you can just pull yeah, that microphone yeah. around a little okay. bit. Great. Um, so, just tell us a bit more detail about your work and, uh, you know, what, what, what inspires you. Yeah, my inspiration is always uh, when I'm traveling. Uh, I spent three years in China and now it's three years in, in Dubai. And uh, since I'm in Dubai, I include the, the sun from the, the dune, it's an example. Yeah, yeah. Or I grab from the ground the, the metal ro rod rust um, from the building, and I include that in the painting. And uh, what is particular in my, uh, my work, I have a big contrast with a uh, big varnish, really glossy, and the matte part, and it's really a uh, uh, thick painting because mm -hmm. I use a uh, modeling base mm -hmm. and I mix with the sun and it's really thick. So Van, you're probably best known for something you did recently in the desert and this is possibly one of the best hot air balloons that I've ever seen. Yeah. I watched the video this morning before you came into the studio and what you did is you created this portrait of the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan uh, where you drop sand from a hot air balloon onto a canvas yeah. that was laid out in the desert to, to craft this amazing image of the Sheikh. But when I was watching, I was just thinking, oh my goodness, you're really reliant on your environment because, you know, if, if it's windy, this just isn't going to work. Yeah, it's true. It was a big challenge because <laughs> uh, um, my target is it, it was to do the World Guinness record that mm -hmm. we did. And that day... Uh, unlucky, a lot of wind. Yeah. And when I was in a hot, uh, hot air balloon, I began to drop the sand, and a big wind arrived, and I failed one of my bones. And all the media was there, I said, oh my God, I cannot stop. And oh, I, gosh. I, we finished uh, this out. What was uh, a big challenge. We did that because um, it was the 40th anniversary of the Canadian Embassy. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Canadian University, while I'm a visiting lecturer, they uh, support me on that project with s some help from students and uh, some colleagues. And finally, we did we did the, the, the World Guinness record. And like uh, you said, and, uh, it's true that I'm inspired by why I am. Mm -hmm. So you dropped all this sand. Uh, yeah. And it was a windy day. How, how did the sand go to the right place? Yeah, <laughs> but finally, we didn't drop all the sand from the half oh. balloon. Oh, okay, just a bit. From okay. the ground. And they have three different uh, sand colors. Then the portrait he has, he had a um, three tone, three different tones. Is, is there anywhere we can see pictures of it? Is it, is it yeah. online there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and there's a video, yeah. so we'll link to the yeah. video as well to our Facebook page. We'll do yeah. that during the break. Mm -hmm. But I think if you love working with nature and materials from from the earth like you do sylvan i can imagine that even though yes it was windy i'm sure you, you just took it in your stride but uh, you, you have to be ready about the, any situation and mm -hmm. i like it uh, i like to arrive like in, in different situation and create what what happens exactly now, or what yeah. i found in the ground and try to find solutions. Spontaneous. The Spontaneous. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, we'll come back to the Sue Sylvans in, in a moment. We've also got joining us, as I mentioned, a full house of artists today, Jessica Watson Thorpe. Um, you're the new Jessica Watson Thorpe. And Sylvan, uh, well, going, going back to the two Sylvans. Yeah, we've got the twins over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sylvan, we were just talking, Sylvan um, Tremblay, who's in the studio with us, um, a guest lecturer at the Canadian University. You've actually done a special piece in honour of UAE National Day. Tell us about that one. Yeah, because uh, yesterday we celebrate the National Day at the Kings University and with uh, three uh, nice uh, students, uh, Mahan, 
Nida and Marianne. We uh, created uh, the, the logo of a Spirit of Union and I use a special technique. First, I put a wax and the people that don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And at the last moment, we spray coconut powder on it and the image appear in a second. It's really magic and the people... Yeah. They, so they so for how it. long did they not know what on earth was going on? But the to how long the, to to do it is around just fifteen minutes to do. To ah, do okay. Yes, because this is a, uh, just a little trick. Have a trace on the canvas, but pe people cannot see it. Then mm -hmm. it's more magic for them. And four people to together, it takes it took uh, around uh, ten fifteen minutes, and and the image appear in one second with the coconut ponder. Beautiful. And Sylvain, we've just posted a video on our Facebook page, Dubai I 103.8, of that hot air balloon ride that you took where you dropped sand onto a canvas laid out into the desert. So if you want to get onto our Facebook page, you can see that video. Fantastic. Check it out. Now, a story that I'm even um, able to, but it has strongly discouraged it by displaying an image of a crossed-out camera <laughs> right above its main interest. And Mark, I'm looking at the image right now. That's a pretty big banner. It is. It's, it's a happy. huge banner, isn't it? They're not happy with cameras. I mean, uh, um, Sylvan, too, too, over here. Do, do you take pictures of art when you go around galleries, or do you, you know, enjoy it first? But uh, just a funny story. I visited the Last Supper in Milan, and uh, when you arrived in the entrance, it's really like no photo no picture allowed yeah and when the people arrive inside you cannot imagine how many photos the people they are taking <laughs> <laughs> a security guys say no yeah. stop 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 no flash because um he, he, he could the, the, the lights can the, the flash can uh, affect the the painting oh yeah of course but in my can. case i like to take picture you do <laughs> to, to remember something mm. because mm. when you're back home you yeah. you visit and you see too much things in, mm. in short time and when you come back home, you say, oh, yeah, this one, I like it. And after, you can do research. And to, Have you ever to made a sketch of a work of art when you've been Yeah, yes, I, I like you've to. You've done that? Yes, I did that. Yes, I did. Yes, right. I, I like to, to uh, try to, uh, to memorize the, the, the pink table with uh, detail. I did the, the one uh, of Vasari when I was um, in Florence uh, the, the last time. I just take my sketchbook and just reproduce one of the ores then I really like. Yeah. You know, we're running out of time, guys, but our homework for next Monday is, a sketch. is to sketch <laughs> something, okay. a piece a piece that you've seen, and you've got to hashtag it, um, hashtag start drawing. Mine's going to be a stick.